what's up everybody it's Nikki and welcome back to another video so on today's video I will be reviewing some braiding hair which is a little bit different um, than what I've been doing reviewing unboxing all of that kind of thing um, but I need to do my hair as you guys can see I did a wash day the other day and now it's air dried and all that good stuff and it needs a little zhushing <laughs> so anyway I am going to let you guys see my process and all of that, and hopefully it'll be helpful to somebody. Um, so go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Turn on your post notifications so you know the next time I'm posting another video. And stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So I have two types of hair. I've got the model model hair in color two. Um, and with this hair, it is um, pre-stretched pre-rinsed and cleansed in vinegar wash now this one I have already used as you guys can see because this right here um, still has the labels on it and then this one does not so I had bought a couple of packs of this hair um, a few months ago really and I used that to put some braids in and then I also used a little bit of it on my best friend's hair the other day when we were getting ready to go out of town on a fun little girls weekend trip so I was thinking about using this one um, it's 52 inches as you guys can see right here it's 52 inches and so I was thinking about going ahead and trying to use this one but I am trying to do all of my hair so I think that the ones that I bought yesterday actually which are from Queen Bee and I've never ever used those um, but I'm gonna try these today and this one also came with a free uh, bundle of hair as you guys can see right there as well and this one is pre-stretched pre-pulled um, trying to get the camera angle right pre-extended pre-feathered and I want to say yeah so it's antibacterial as well so it's already been um, pre-washed I hope as well because um, I always like more recently I've been liking to buy these that have already been pre washed as well so I'm just taking a look to see so pre stretched pre feathered and fully prepped yep so I think it has been but the telltale sign of it will be whenever I put it in my hair and if it itches my scalp or not um, that'll be a telltale sign this one right here I absolutely love and I may do another video on this one but this one I absolutely love because I know it does not um, irritate my scalp and I have pretty sensitive skin so I have to be super careful with that as well so anyway this was as you can see was like $6.99 but I'm not going to use this one today and these were maybe $6.99 as well I think I bought two packs of these and these are um, 50 I believe these are 50 inches only I want to say yeah 50 inch right there um, so but I think like I say I think these were $6.99 as well guys um, because they ended up being like $15 so yeah so they are $6.99 each so anyway I am going to go ahead and start the process I will um, let you guys see a little bit of that as well um, Stay tuned. Hey guys, so this is the hair out of the package. I'm trying to get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Yeah, that is the hair out of the package. It just comes with this. It says itch free there, so that's a good sign. Um, antibacterial, hot water curl, pre-stretched, and flame retardant, which is really, really good as well. Their website is there. This is also not a sponsored video, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, it's just me putting up a video so you guys can kind of see the process of this, and hopefully it'll be helpful to somebody. So that is that, guys. So anyway guys, I have tried to angle the camera so you guys can see the hair right here. And once you take the band off of the hair, the little label off of the hair, I normally just take and 
lift the rubber band up just a little bit with a pair of scissors try not to cut the hair and just clip the rubber band like that sometimes these the other one the other um, model model that I really really do love and I'm gonna see if I love this one hopefully I do but that comes with more of a wire um, I guess wire kind of a holder I don't know what to call it but it the thing that holds the hair to the packaging it normally is like a bread tie or something like that so then you can tie it back up should you not use all of the hair you can tie it back up and put it back on there so those are the ones that I prefer, uh, prefer uh, rather than these rubber bands because then you have to figure out how you're gonna tie it back up so then I just take this um, cut it off and then I separate the hair by what I think will be the size of the braids that I want to use um, or that I want to put in my hair. So if you want some tiny braids in your hair and you're going to part it tiny, then you're going to, you know, get enough hair for that. But I think I'm probably I always like medium kind of size braids. So I take it and um, just fit really it's about a feel for me so I just take and feel and see how big I want that and then I lay it out on the bed I'm in my room because I normally do my hair in my bathroom because I have a mirror on my back wall and I can see the mirror in front of me as well as the mirror on my back wall and so it works for me I didn't even set it up like that either I just noticed it one day when I was trying to put braids in my hair so again I just feel it and feel it is as thick as the other one that I laid out and then I'll just lay them out like so and again do it through the same process so you know just feel the thickness of it and I um, go ahead and take and lay out as many as I can out of that piece of hair these right here this hair though guys it doesn't seem like it is um, like at the ends here it doesn't seem it says it's stretched out and it's pre-separated and all of that and I guess it is sort of but with that model model hair I guess I'm just a little spoiled with that and I'm quit talking about that now that I'm not using that I'm using Queen B so that's what I'm gonna stick to <laughs> but anyway so that's what I do is I take and um, separate these uh, like that and just make a few uh, sections or you know take and get several pieces of it and um, then on to the next step and all I do guys is just use the mirror that is behind me in the bathroom to make sure that my part is as straight as can be so my tattoo sorry <laughs> but um, as you guys can see I'm just working until I get that part as straight as I can get it from this angle and then I will move on from there okay guys so this is the back all done I'll zoom in to see if you guys can see it. Hopefully it's a bit clear so you guys can see it. But that is the back all done. I normally don't do the ends all the way until I get done with my hair all together because that way I can make sure that they're tight and then when I get ready to put them in the hot water they're all um, tight and everything. I don't know why I just said that twice. Anyway, so that is the back. I will come back either halfway through or either when I'm completely done. So stay tuned. Many hours later.
So guys, as you can see, once the water has gotten hot, you pour it in the cup that you're gonna use to dip your hair in. You dip your hair and then you dry it off so it's not so hot that you can't touch it. So then you do the other side. Take it, dip your hair in. Be very, very careful because this water obviously is super hot. Dip it, place it on the towel. You dry the hair off as much as you can. So that it's not steaming hot when it touches you. Again, you get all parts of the hair. Hey guys, and that is the end. Um, I hope that you guys learned something from this video. Um, that is always the intention, uh, is to be able to unbox and share with you guys what I know and how to do different things according to what I'm unboxing and reviewing. Today was the Queen Bee hair review for braiding hair and I call these plaits not really braiding to me braiding would be um, if you uh, went down to your scalp and braided hair tight to your scalp this to me um, is called plaits um, comment below if you agree or disagree uh, but hopefully again that you guys um, enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and press that like button below um, that does help my channel grow and I really 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 appreciate it uh, as far as my uh, kind of synopsis of what I feel about the Queen Bee hair, I feel like it the texture is different than what I'm used to with the model model hair for sure. Uh, it is a little bit rougher than that. And then also with the ends of the hair and how that came out, um, they aren't as even as when I use the model model hair. So I didn't, I don't really care for that, but I'll probably keep my hair up in a top knot or something like that while I have this hair in um, I hope you guys like it it was a quick job normally it I say a quick job but for the entire time that it took me to do it it took maybe about two and a half three hours um, but overall it took longer than that because I took a few breaks in there but the process is pretty easy if you just need a quick hairstyle um, to carry you through a couple of weeks uh, this is my go-to normally is just putting these in um, so again if you guys enjoy the video don't forget to like um, on this video if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so um, it would be very very helpful and it only takes just a quick second to do it um, and I really would appreciate it uh, go ahead and comment below as well if you thought that the video was informative for you or um, if or what parts of the video you thought were most informative or you liked the best I would really really like to know that as well um, that's all that I have guys thanks so much for watching today um, I will be making more videos for you pretty soon just again my channel is about reviewing and unboxing and kind of showing you guys what you'll get before you get it um, if you're interested in getting those things so I appreciate you guys so much for watching today or uh, tonight whenever you're watching it um, love yourself and love one another and I will see you in the next video guys peace